characteristics of a car built in the 80s. It does bring a little bit of a Porsche feel to it. So you've got the motor hanging out behind the rear axle. Hi, I'm Wayne Harley. I'm from the Frontier Motor Museum and today I have the honor of taking you on board this beautiful 1982 DeLorean DMC-12. It's just great to drive something that you kind of remember from you know, the great movie, Back to the Future. That transfers me back to my childhood. was designed by John Z, which is Zachary DeLorean, and he's famous for the great Pontiac GTO. Um, he's a man that also saved Pontiac for, for General Motors. Designed a car called the Banshee, which also had a similar gullwing construction in the roof. And then when he walked away from the top post at General Motors, he went off and to build his own car. Everyone knows the stories of how they battled with funding, the drug scandal, the tax scandal which landed him in a lot of hot water. Yeah, I think the saddest thing about the, the, the DeLorean obviously is the fact that, you know, to get the funding from the British government um, that he needed to build the car, he had to build the car in Ireland. And um, you know, the skilled workforce just wasn't there. So the car did leave the factory with bad body fit, a lot of teething problems, you know, cars were recalled. And, you know, it just, could have been a much better car if he had built it, say, now in Coventry in the UK or even in the United States, which the car was built for. That's why they all left-hand drive. It was built for the United States market. And then you must remember that um, Colin Chapman had some input in building this car. I think if he wasn't approached, it might have been a completely different car. You know, considering what it was built for, you know, um, and where it comes from, it's, 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 a, it's a really good car, but then again, it's not a, a rocket ship as people think, you know, it looks the part, but it's, it's making about 104 kilowatts, 145 brake horsepower, top speed in this thing was around about 200 kilometers an hour, so it's no big race car, but it's a very capable little car, it feels great, not as light in the nose as a person would think, being the stainless steel body that it is. John DeLorean had the idea to build in stainless steel and I think he, he, his idea was to make it a, a little bit more maintenance free um, which actually backfired, it, it's actually quite a high maintenance surface, it shows scratches easy and fingerprints tremendously quick so it's hard to keep clean, it's not the easiest surface to, to look after, from a museum point of view we really have a hard time at the Frontier Motor Museum looking after this car, keeping it clean. When DMC went into liquidation and shut down um, after all the bad run that John DeLorean had. There is, I believe, and I mean, I, I can never remember the company's name, but a secondhand auto dealer in the United States actually bought out all DMC's parts, body panels, unfinished cars, and they today still supply everything for these cars. You can, you can pretty much get, you know, body panels, rubber hoses, um, I mean, the Renault engine obviously is still available in terms of parts, but yeah, so it's, it's, it's an interesting car. I mean, for example, the stalks on the column, yeah, I mean, I, I recognize them from the Triumph Chicane uh, and the Rover. I mean, they're very, very British Leyland. A lot of the switches in the car appear to be British Leyland. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, again, you know, the fact that a lot of the parts in this car were sourced from part bins um, and are readily available. What I find really interesting about the car is when the doors are open, the door open light is actually a gullwing door, which is really, really cool. The engine is a 2.9 litre 
what they call Peugeot Renault Volvo. Um, it was, and excuse my pronunciation, it was built by Francais de Mechanica. Okay, and it's, the motor powered a lot of different cars. Uh, predominantly, it was used in the Renault R30. The fact that this car has become a cult car, and you know the Renault power plant, the bad body fits, uh, along with the gull wings, I don't know, it just puts this car in a completely different genre of motor car. I mean, that's why I think it'll always be a legend, and it'll always be a, an iconic car to own. You know, it doesn't have to be that wonderful, wonderful car that everyone expects it to be. Did you know that we also sell really awesome car themed merchandise? Check out our range of custom t-shirts and prints at our online store now. Simply click on the square box on your screen and we'll take you there or the link is in the description below. Thanks for watching.